fight you out big face fight yeah, that's for this one. Okay, so I reckon we're gonna go up to this part up here. So it should just be the case that we now just pull it back. So the orange ones, I put the orange ones in the back so you always know orange is on this side. Keep the height because sometimes when you peg it down, sometimes when you peg it down, you lose the height. Yes, yeah, so I just texted you. I did. Yeah, okay. I just got the phone. I just. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just okay. Yeah, we did. Yes. All yeah. oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the kettle kettles are hollow all the way through. Um, we are going to be building a little fire within this fire pit, and the kettle kettle sits on top. And there's a second chamber there, the first spout is where all the water goes in, so that's more important too. Okay. Good thing is uh, not to build a fire so much so that the kettle can't sit kind of clean on top. So make sure none of the sticks are kind of overlapping the, the rim. Um, and then once it's on top, you can feed the fire uh, through the chimney at the top, just dropping sticks in. Build the smoke. Yeah, so that's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just sort of in the same place as the knot is. I think it's not making it. I in the book. <laughs> Just be mindful because of the wind, it's a bit erratic. Uh, I don't want the fire to get too close to the shelter. So, uh, so one of them's come with those attachments. The new one with the whistle, Ooh, they don't okay. come with it. Oh, there we go. Right, so side of the handles. Let's get up. Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And once they're off, you can yeah. use them by the handles. Okay. So if I uh, just put them over here, or even right next to the table, it's fine. Uh, yeah, you put tea bags in, they'll... Uh, they're probably not going to have enough time to burn. Unless you've got a compost heat. Yeah, we have, yeah. Maybe use it. So get a wee cup and take your tea bags <laughs> so these aren't normal gloves, these are fire gloves, so do not try this. Do not try this with your own gloves. With gardening gloves. You could just let that burn out and it'll burn down and then it'll cool down once you put water in it. And it cools out very quickly, but yeah, just for speed. Uh, okay, so um, this one's actually a bit of an old version now, but we're going to use this. Uh, we're going to make uh, one of these today, a kind of willow platter. Uh, and this is just a good kind of starting point for any kind of willow uh, project, getting that kind of weed. Um, it's also called a Catalan platter uh, and quite uh, prominent in the, the Catalan region of Spain. So um, we're going to do this, um, but I've got plenty of willow with me uh, and plenty of different colours as well. So you'll have. Ooh! Is that dyed? Oh my yeah, God! Yeah, so the dyed willow as well. <laughs> I can't take credit for that, so I buy all my willow from a company down right. south okay. uh, and then it gets sent to me dry yeah. and then I need to soak it. So this has been soaking for 24 hours because okay. uh, that makes it uh, bendable, willow. so we've got plenty to work with. Uh, so if at first it doesn't quite work for you, you want to mould it or change it, we can work about okay. And if you want to experiment as well, you're more than welcome to. I'll kind of give you the, uh, the project, uh, the scope of the project and you can uh, Make it as creative as you want, okay? Um, take it in whatever direction you choose. Uh, now this willow uh, here, uh, I'll use to begin with. Uh, so it's a nice sort of brownish uh, buff willow it's called. Um, we're going to start off by making the, the circle, okay? Circle or oval. Um, so to do that, uh, what we need to do is we need to slowly 
start kind of breaking down all the little fibres uh, in the willow rod. Okay, now you will need to be mindful of all the people that are around you. As you can see, I'm, I'm also uh, about to hit folks, so uh, just be careful of that. Okay, uh, but once you start, you can you can move about and uh, you'll figure out a way that works best. Okay, so we're just slowly bringing it round to a curve. You don't want to do it too sharply or too quickly. Um, because that could still snap the willow, even though it's been soaking uh, overnight. Uh, there's only so uh, it's only so flexible. Okay, so if you do it too quickly, it's a bit of a kind of shock for it. Um, so we're just bending it nice and slowly, and the thicker pieces uh, have to take a little bit more time with. Okay, pressing that together. Okay, and then from there, we're just going to try and make a bit of a circle. Okay, so and again. Get this part right, make it as circle-like as you can, if you want it to be a circle, um, because you won't be able to change this once we start making it. Okay? Right, so from there, uh, we're going to start uh, using the thinner part of the willow, and we're going to start wrapping it around. Okay? So it's going to go on the inside, and it's going to lock everything in place. Okay? The thin stuff's dead easy to, to wrap around. And then from there, any excess we just cut off. Okay, so that's roughly the kind of circle shape we're looking for. Okay, we're quite happy with that. Yeah, yep. sometimes it's good to have you know a wee kind of centimetre uh, give and take just in case it was to slip a wee bit. You don't want it to all kind of unravel, uh, especially the circle. Because uh, as soon as you start doing this weave in the centre, if the circle was to pop out, then all of that's going to come undone. Okay. Yeah, happy with that. So I'm going to show you the next bit. Don't worry if you're not at that stage yet. Okay, I can come down myself for that to help. Um, I'll show you what we do next in case you're ready. Um, so, for the next part, we've got our circle, right? So that part can be sat down just now. Uh, what we need to think of now uh, uh, are at least two. You've seen I've used the colourful pieces. Um, you need to have at least two rods going across the centre. Okay. Now I've decided to use uh, coloured rods through the centre. Uh, just add a bit more colour to it, but because they're a lot thinner, I've doubled them up. Okay. This is entirely up to you. If you've got a really big circle uh, with this particular willow, the dyed willow, it isn't particularly strong. It will have a bit of stress in the middle. So it's entirely up to yourself uh, how you want to do this. Uh, to put it safe, I mean, I'm just going to pick the brown willow for just now. I need two nice thick rods, if I'm looking at the base of the willow, two thick rods that are going to cover uh, the distance of the circle. Okay, Sorry. so you can do it either way. Plenty of space there, so I'm going to cut it there. And some other piece. And that's going to sit across like this. Okay, happy with that. So you're going to need two, I would take two pieces of the brown willow or four of the dyed. Uh, cut it so you've got the right lengths uh, and then we'll move on after that. Okay, so when you're ready, off you go. So the tools are there. If anyone wants these two, you're welcome to use them. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll use them for the, the demonstration. Okay, so this is where it gets just, it's a little bit trickier. Okay, it's a bit fiddly to begin with, but once you get the first few in place, it all kind of uh, gets easier. Okay, right, so what you're going to do if you've got two sticks, you're going to split up your circle into uh, three equal thirds. Okay, uh, and those sticks are the kind of dividing lines. Um, and in order for me to, to get this started, uh, I'll need a, a large piece uh, of the buffalo, the, the long brown piece. Uh, and we're going to go through the centre. We're going to start this from the centre of the circle out the way, out to the side. Okay. Uh, grab the willow by its thinnest point. Okay. 
and uh, we're going to start weaving uh, under and over. So if I'm coming into the circle underneath the next part of the willow, I'm going over. Okay, and then going under and then over the final piece. And I'm pulling that through, keeping all the tension in there. And I'm trying to get it as thick as possible. I want to get right down to that nice thick piece at the end. Okay, like that. Now right now, that's not locked in place. That's absolutely fine. That's to be expected. Now that came in from my right hand side. The next time I do it, I'm starting from the left. Okay, so we're going to go left, right, left, right. Okay, so this time round again, I'm starting underneath, thin side first. The reason we start with the thin edge is because it's easier to weave with to begin with. Weave with to begin with. out there. Uh, over this one, underneath. Don't worry if you need to kind of bend it a wee bit. And then over the last one, I'm going to start pulling all that through. This is the most important point. Just keep all that tension in there. Okay, we can adjust that in a wee moment. Okay. All that through. Now you can do this kind of off the ground. If anything, I'm just creating more friction underneath. Okay, but we're pulling that through as best we can, as tight as we can. And we want all the pieces of willow to be nice and close. Okay, you want that weave to be set uh, as tight as possible. Okay, so that one came in from the left. The next time I come in from the right, okay? And I would make it so that if you do one on this side, you do this one next, go back and forth. Okay, don't do one half and then come back because uh, it might be a bit lopsided uh, by the end, okay? And then any of these pieces that you have, once I've kind of passed the circle, you can chop them down. You don't need to chop them um, all to begin with. You can have lots kind of sticking out and cut ten at once. That's absolutely fine. And that way you, know, you don't have to keep looking for the sack of tours. Um, but then these pieces can be used later on for the kind of thinner edges. As you get closer to the edges of the circle, uh, the willow will need to get a bit thinner just to kind of squeeze it in. Okay, but you want to get as much willow in that space as possible. So which uh, willow okay. are we using for this first thing? So I would recommend you yeah, get at least sort of four in the centre of the brown stuff. Okay, okay yeah. because the brown stuff is the strongest. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then you can start playing about with the colours okay. um, and, and do it what you like. Okay, I wouldn't recommend doing a full platter of colour because it probably won't be as strong. Uh, perhaps a bit like how I've done it, you know, space out the colours a bit. Yeah. You could do far more colours than that, but just to give you an idea. Does that sound okay? Yeah. 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 Right, so when you are ready, you can get uh, get some willow sorted. And yeah, you want the longest pieces, so any that have just been cut, save them for later. You could even use one of the benches or something. Yeah, that's it, uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah maybe about. Remember to alternate, uh, alternate sides, you're, you're working from the, the middle out the way. This one up, elbow down. Alright. There you go. That's good. Hopefully this is going. So, is that end of the if something's just not working, you know, now's the time to kind of just be like, okay, let's readjust. Uh, or even if you want to kind of restart something, you can. Okay? Do you want to hold that? Yeah. And I'll try and push sure. it so that the perfect comes through. Okay. So, yeah, we're holding oh, it. Oh, that's alright, yeah. It's vibrant. Oh my god. Yeah, because you can kind of feel it's a bit sturdier with the right. thicker bits. Okay. And the thinner bits of it, you start moving about. Right. But it should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, as you can see, you can yeah, do as well. There's plenty there. Everyone should do their big two flowers because we've got enough to yeah. over. <laughs> and then you can have a feast on it tonight. Get to your table. Mm -hmm. 
dry pillow, don't they? When they're dry. Smokes in your way, just move, folks. There's a, long bit to try it, it won't work. there's a lot more sort of current. Yeah, like this is more straight there. Yeah. So okay. you have to sort of have yeah, a there's another one, there's a green one. What you were saying you need to really bend it a lot beforehand, so it's bending and it's just it's it's, it's tricky. You need were to you really still pulling it. it all the way through? Uh, no. No. Not all right. the way through. That's right. fine. <laughs> I'm going to whack this coffee over. <laughs> 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 whack the coffee over. Oh. Mm. 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 By all means, if you want to play about with the willow and you've kind of got an idea of something you're welcome to try, uh, I did show there was those wee star hangs if anyone wants to make one. So, a nice piece, the wetter the piece, the better. Stuff at the bottom of the um, So you're going to fold it roughly at the kind of halfway mark initially. Okay, you can do the kind of usual bending as well just to get a bit of life into it. It's not so too bad if this one snaps and it's still. Okay, so from there, fold it in half. And then you decide how, how long you want each of your kind of Thanks to start to be, and you want them all to be even, yeah. and then you just kind of you move out. Yeah, you just you move about till you get the shape you want. You know, they don't always look the way you want them to. Look. <laughs> 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 can be quite annoying as well when it's when you've just got it and it moves itself. Oh, 
tre happy. It's all about getting folks outdoors, all about enjoying being in an outdoor space, uh, making the most of the spaces in our community. And we like to sort of take into account people's interests and people's needs uh, because you know, the way we're going to get more folk outdoors is, is doing stuff that those folk are interested in. So you know, they've shown an interest in willow weaving this time around, so we've created a programme entirely based around willow weaving. And then a lot of this is about giving people uh, some skills and some ideas to take away so hopefully once I've shown them how to do it once uh, they can then go on and try it themselves and then show other uh, members of the community, uh, their peers, friends, family uh, how to do it as well and so the same with the Kelly Kettles, we show them how they work and now they have them here for the project 